Okay, so let's see these questions. State by reference to displacement, what is meant by simple harmonic motion? Okay, so you have to see how we get two marks. Huh? So first you have to write acceleration proportional proportional to displacement directed towards a fixed point. Then the second thing, acceleration and displacement in opposite direction. Okay, now we look at B. A mass is undergoing oscillation in a vertical plane. The variation with displacement x of the oscillation A of the mass is shown in figure 3.1. State two reasons why the motion of the mass is not simple harmonic. Okay, so simple harmonic, you know, simple harmonic, the graph has to be like a straight line where here is A, here is X, here is minus amplitude, here is amplitude, then here is, you know, A equal to minus omega square X. Huh? So if you put A inside, it should get minus omega square A. Here you should get uh, omega square A. I should get something like that. But uh, this is this is different, you know. This one uh, first you see here and here not same. Even here and here also not same. Okay, I mean this and this uh, not same, and this. The horizontal one also not same on both sides. Okay, so state two reason. Huh? So first you can say graph is not a straight line. Second you can say maximum displace displacements are different. You can also say maximum amplitudes are different if you want maximum displacement. Okay, so it's up to you. Now let's see the next page. Okay, on the next page you have uh, part C. A block of wood is floating in a liquid as shown in figure 3.2. Okay, so the block is displaced vertically and then released. The variation with time t of the displacement y of the block from its equilibrium position is shown in figure 3.3. So you can see it oscillate in this way. Damping happens. That is like damping. Uh, no? Like damping. Okay. So as the amplitude decreases slowly. Uh, uh, so this is called light damping. Okay. Uh, use data from figure 3.3 .3 to determine the angular frequency omega of the oscillation. Uh, so from the graph, we can actually see the, the period. Period, huh? period is here to here, period. Uh, you can see the period. So, 2 pi over t, 2 pi over 0 0.8, 7.8 
five radian per second. So, like that. Uh, of course, one more thing that you need to know about light damping is the the amplitude decreases, but the period doesn't change. Uh. As you can see, uh, the second period, uh, you can see easily, this is another 0 0.8. Uh, then the next period is uh, another 0 0.8. So the period do not change in light damping. Okay, so now part two, the maximum vertical acceleration of the block, uh, maximum vertical acceleration. That means you know, uh, you know the formula is this formula uh, a equal to minus omega square x. Uh, okay, so if you want the acceleration to be maximum then the x must be the maximum also must be the maximum huh? so if this is maximum then this is maximum okay so to, to choose the maximum of course we have to choose you see this is like uh, around 1.3 something this is minus 1.5, this is maximum, you know. We just care about the magnitude, lah, by the way. Uh, 1.5 is the maximum. Okay, so the maximum amplitude is 1.5. Okay, so because of that, uh, because of that, the omega is minus uh, no, 7.85. This is from part 1, uh, from part 1. The x is negative 1.5. And then you count, you get 0 0.925 meter per second, per second, 0 0.925. Okay, so part, uh, part three. So part three is the one that we need to discuss just now, uh, the energy loss due to damping. Uh. So let's see this. The block has mass 120 gram. The oscillation of the block are damped. Calculate the loss in energy of the oscillations of the block during the first three complete periods of its oscillation. So the formula is 1 over 2 m omega square x naught square minus x square. Uh, so this is the formula. Energy loss due to damping. Okay, so uh, they said three complete oscillation. Uh. So if you see the the graph, right? They they give one oscillation here to here, second oscillation here to here, and the third oscillation here to here. This is the third the third oscillation, and and the the x the x at this point is negative 0 0.9 negative 0 0.9 yeah? so I write down first at this point is 2.4 negative 0 0.9 times 10 negative 2 okay. uh, so yeah the x naught of course we put negative 1.5 then the x we put negative 0 0.9 then mass and omega you just put accordingly okay so let us substitute okay 1 over 2 the mass is 120 times 10 negative 3 the omega is counted just now in part 1 7.85 square and then the x naught is minus 1.5 times 10 negative 2 square. The x is minus 0 0.9 times 10 negative 2 square. 
and then 5.32 times 10 negative 4 joule. Uh, that is the energy loss.